Good afternoon, everybody. How are you all doing? Hope you're doing great today. So we will solve this problem, which I'll just share with you. Say, hey, a businessman named Wiley decided to start a chocolate factory. He buys several machines to fill the bag with chocolates and is interested to find out how equally the machines fill the bags. He programs the machine to put an average of 30 grams of chocolate in each bag with a standard deviation of 45 grams. He then randomly samples 100 of the bags this machine filled. What is the probability that the mean amount per bag of chocolate in his sample is less than 29 grams? So we are interested to find out the probability that the mean amount per bag is less than 29 grams. So solution, we want to find out, to find probability that the mean amount of sample in each bag is less than 29 grams. So we have to deal with, uh, work with sampling distribution. Or probability distribution of sample means. Sample means, which looks like this. Okay, the center where the peak is the highest. Is mu x bar and that is equal to mu. This comes from central limit theorem and sigma x bar, which is the standard deviation of the sampling distribution is sigma by square root of n. So from central limit theorem, limit theorem, mean of sampling distribution which is mu x bar, mu x bar is equal to mu and standard deviation of sampling distribution. Deviation sigma x bar is equal to sigma by square root of n. Mu is the mean of the population and sigma is the standard deviation divided by square root of sample size. Sample size, okay? So with this background, let's work on this problem. Okay, so my mu x bar is equal to mu is equal to 30. My sigma is given as 45. My sample size n is 100. So sigma x bar, which is the standard deviation of the sampling distribution, is sigma divided by square root of n, which is 45 divided by square root of 100, which is 45 divided by 10 or 4.5, okay? Now, so the mean is 30. So this center is 30. And we want to find probability. Remember, we have x bar on the horizontal axis. And 
we want to find out the probability that x bar is less than 29. So if this is 29, we want to find out of this area. Okay. <clears throat> so to find P x bar less than 29, use TI 84 calculated. Okay. So we press the second key, then the verse key. Then we select number two key. So we get normal CDF. Okay. My lower is a very large negative number on the left, which is minus one E99. Okay. That's a very large negative number on the left. So minus is next to enter, then we type E, then we have to get E for which we type the second button and then the comma button. And then we will get, let me erase that and write it carefully. So second button, then comma button, which gives me the E, and then I type 99. Nine. Do not quit right away. I'll give you some important hint at the end of this program. So please watch till the end. Lord is that. My upper, I want to find out what is the area starting from the very left extreme negative number to 29. So my upper is 29. My mu is 30. My sigma is not 45, it is 4.5, okay? So let me uh, create some space. Let me make sure these are written correctly. So again, repeating my upper, I want to start from the very left, negative infinity. Okay, and I want to go up to 29 because I want to find the probability x bar is less than 29. My mu is equal to mu of the population, which is 30. My sigma is sigma x bar, which is 4.5. Okay, and uh, then we go down to pest and hit enter and enter. Enter and enter twice. So the answer for probability x bar less than 29 is equal to 0 0.0. 0131 which is correct alternative is correct alternative is B as in boy. Let me write that clearly. Correct alternative is B. And I'll highlight that as the answer. Why it is B? Because if I look at the answers, B is 0 0.0132. I got 0 0.0131, which is close to B. What is the important uh, tip I wanted to give you is when you are trying to find probability X bar is less than a number, you start from negative infinity in the calculator as a lower boundary, which is minus one, then second button, then comma button gives you the E. 
E stands for exponent 99. So it's minus one followed by 99 zeros, which is basically negative infinity or negative a very large number. And upper, you want to stop at 29, upper bound is 29, mean is 30. Also important point to note, important uh, tip is that sigma, in this case is sigma x bar, or the standard deviation of the sampling distribution, which in this case is 4.5. Okay, I'll stop here today. If you have any question or comment, write me a note. I'll get back to you as soon as possible. If you like this video, please give me thumbs up. That motivates me to do solve more and more problems just for you. If you like this video, share with your friends. You and your friends, please subscribe to my channel by hitting the red subscribe button at the bottom right corner. In my channel, Math Science Topia, I've solved all kinds of stat problems just for you. And please do not forget to watch me tomorrow when I'll be back with another important problem. See you tomorrow. Take care. Have a nice day. Thanks for watching.